The tugboats were all gathered around the great ocean dock. The dispatcher had big news, and everyone was excited to know what it was. Now listen up, crew. We've a special visitor here today who's looking at becoming your new owner. So let's be on our best behavior and give Mr. Zero a warm welcome, the dispatcher announced warmly. He looked at a little car on the dock with a little megaphone poking out. The megaphone spoke. Good morning, you little, little nice tugboats. The tugboats all looked at each other. A new owner? Theodore didn't like the sound of that. He, if he had a new owner, then what would happen to the dispatcher? Well, Theodore tried to put on his most brave voice. Hello, Mr. Zero. The others all looked at Theodore with worry. Before Hank spoke up, I don't want a new owner, he cried. I don't want the dispatcher to go. Now, now, the dispatcher said quickly, I'll still be here to take care of you all. Isn't that right, Mr. Zero? Um, yeah, yes, I can't be away from the big city and my other fleet too long, you see, Mr. Zero announced. You st super good tugboats are going to be my second fleet here in the big harbor. The big city, Emily said. I've been there. There are a lot of nice tugboats there, and some very mean and uppity ones, too. Theodore didn't like the sound of that. Mean? Let's not gossip, the dispatcher said bluntly. Why don't we all get to work today and show Mr. Zero our very best? Theodore didn't know how he felt about Mr. Zero, but he did always try his best, so he knew that he could do.